woke up this morning and I was like, I'm going to do a nice like corally eye, use my Nubian 3 eyeshadow palette, which is like mainly like peachy and silvery. And then I was like, I'm going to use this pearlescent purple and blue highlighter and I'm not going to shy away from it. And I don't know why I did that because I clash, but you know what? I just kind of went with it. So it's been one of those days. Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I'm Andy and I am doing another one of my favorite things for you guys today. An unboxing from Ulta because I have a problem and I can't stop spending. No, seriously, please call help. Somebody, anybody. Okay, so jumping right on into it. Um, I did this haul, I bought like three or four boxes back to back to back. And this is one of those, they put more stuff on sale and I was like, I want this stuff. But I shouldn't have been buying anything. Not that I really ever should be buying anything. And I decided I would use some of my points that I've been accumulating for years. So I redeemed 2000 points, which is uh, the equivalent of $125. I think in one of my last haul videos, I lied to you guys and said it was $75. It's not, it is $125 worth of free products, uh, basically just straight cash, like a gift card that you can use for anything. So I redeemed 2000 points. The box I have right here, show you guys this is the box the box of goodness which is gonna go on the ground now um it everything in my cart before i took off i uh, had a ten dollar off coupon and then i used my points everything in the box is valued at 150 dollars uh, with a ten dollar off coupon and then with the 125 dollars off from my points i wound up paying 17 dollars out of pocket exact total was 17.14 so that's how much i paid for this box i think i got a lot of really good stuff for 17.14 they were having really good sales so i'll tell you guys what the prices were as well um yeah other than that let's jump right in i got just a biore makeup remover it's a moisturizing cleansing jelly it was on sale it's normally 7.49 is on sale for 5.99 um honestly the only reason i bought it was because of the word cleansing jelly it's like, it's a liquid. It's not really a jelly, in my opinion. But we'll see what it does. Maybe it like, when it comes into contact with my skin or with the water, it's gonna turn into jelly. I don't know. But the name definitely got me on this one. So I was like, I could use a new face wash. Let's go ahead and add this to the cart. So paid $5.99 for him. All right, moving right along. I really like Stila Cosmetics. Um, I've used them for a really long time, but I don't, they're one of those, brands that I really like their stuff, but I don't have a ton of it, if that makes sense. Like I don't have a lot of their palettes and things like that. I have one or two. Um, but everybody talks about these Stila liquid glitter eyeshadows. And those are the colors on the outside of the box, if you can see. I don't know if you guys can see really well. But um, everybody talks about them. They say that they're the best. And after I found that Ciate London one, I was like, I need more of these in my life. So I went ahead and purchased two of them. I got Peach Pretense and Pink Wink Wink. So that's the Pink Pretense. I don't know, Nikki's gonna adjust, I'm sure. Kind of give you guys a look, is that good? All right, awesome. Um, the second color that I got was Pink Wink Wink. And unfortunately for me, I was trying to go with colors I thought I would use a lot. And I think I wound up getting ones that are like Kind of similar uh that was more on my part because they had different options but this is the pink wink wink hopefully you guys can see that um but i'm gonna go ahead and swatch the two of them for you just so you can see on the back of my hand how they look this one on the bottom that is the pink wink wink and then this one on top is peach pretense so you guys can see i mean they're both kind of like white goldish with pink undertones i don't know we'll have to see how they look on the eye i'm excited about them don't get me wrong i'm not it's not like i'm disappointed in purchasing them i wish i just maybe had gone with like one of the blue ones or something but i was trying to go safe with things that i know that i will use the next thing i got from Stila was um i got two of their stay all day foundation and concealer so these are normally 24 dollars. those eye uh glitter eyeshadows they are normally $24 I bought them they were on sale for 50% off so they're $12 a piece so I mean pretty good deal I probably would have been more upset if I had gotten two of the almost identical colors and paid full price for them so 
like I said, I'm not really disappointed. I just wish I would have chosen better. But new, moving on, the next thing I got was the Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer from Stila. And that is, I was really intrigued by this because I've heard of it before, but once again, I've never used it. And I didn't realize what it was, but it's actually, it's a foundation and a concealer in one. So that's what it looks like. I don't know it's kind of, if you guys can see it, but the top is a concealer. And then if you open up this guy, there's like this weird contraption where I'm pretty sure if you pull this little white thing out and then you press down on it, the foundation comes out. So I was like, okay, I'll try that. It sounds interesting. Um, and it was on sale for 50% off as well. They're normally $40 a piece. They were $20 a piece. So for a concealer and a foundation, $20 is not unreasonable, especially for a name brand. I will say the first thing I noticed though was like, I got the shade Fair too, and you can see like on top of the box, like these boxes have been through something. Like they've seen better days because there's like this green and black splatter on it. I don't know if that's from their warehouse. When I looked at the packaging, nothing was really wrong with it. In one of the concealers, there's like a little black dot, but I really wasn't too concerned about it. I know like hygienically, it probably shouldn't be there, but it didn't look like anything dangerous or bad. So I kind of wrote that off, but the boxes I was really like, oof. Yikes. But we'll see how they work. I don't know. The, found, the foundation reviews are kind of like hit or miss. Some people are like, it's great. Some people are like, it doesn't work for me. So I might have wasted $40 buying two of them, but you guys know I have a problem that I can't buy foundations in just one. So maybe I'll hate it. Maybe I'll love it. We'll have to discover it together, I guess. Um, but the next thing that I got was the Stila Little White Lies Illuminator Palette. Um, the pictures online were beautiful and I love a good highlighter, obviously, and I don't shy away from it. So I went ahead and got it. It also was on sale for 50% off, so it was normally 45, 22, 50 is what I paid for it. Um, that's what it looks like. Nice, pretty, kind of illuminated um, graphic for the logo there. And it just like, initially what I can say is it's just a really pretty packaging. They have like this really good gold kind of pattern that they stick to and it really works for them a really pretty neutral glow palette like you've got a soft pink you've got a soft kind of greeny color and then you've got a really soft like purpley blue color so really any kind of look that you could want should be illuminated and I I will say so it's definitely glittery but it's almost different than any highlighter I've ever used if, if you know like most highlighters they kind of have like a chalky finish as well and chalky is the wrong word because it sounds bad but it's a good chalky it's like like a powder finish and then you've got sparkle in it like this almost is just sheer with glitter so there's not really uh it's kind of like straight glitter if that makes sense like you know those glitter jellies they had when in the 90s when we were children like it feels like that like those glitter lip glosses and stuff so hopefully i can show you guys what i mean try and cover that so you guys can see can you see at all Nikki's saying kind of, so. I mean, that may not be a good sign if it's not reflecting on camera. It may mean that it's just a super soft highlight palette and I wasted $22, which is possible. Um, I'm hoping that it's gonna be a decent one because if it is, I think it'd be a really good like neutral highlight palette just to have for days where I'm not trying to look like this. But, which is, let's be, let's like be honest. That's really not very often. I'm pretty comfortable glowing all the time, so. The next thing I'm gonna do is show you guys, I got, one CC cream and two other foundations. The two foundations are from the same brand. So I'm gonna pull those all out together. So I went ahead and purchased their blush foundation in the color 04 Sugar. Um, it's actually the foundation I have under my powder foundation today. And I, I did that purposefully knowing that we were gonna film this tonight and I will give you an honest review of how it worked for me. Um, the first thing I noticed though is this was on sale for $12. It is normally a uh, normally an $18 foundation, so it wasn't quite 50% off. I saved, I guess, 30% is really what that would come out to. Um, but that's the size of it. And I don't know if you guys can see how tiny it is, but it's it is 0 .0, I'm sorry, 0.16 ounce. So it's small. For a $18 foundation, that's small. And I know. I know with stick foundations it's a little bit different, but I don't know, it just seems like for the price, that doesn't seem like it's gonna get me a lot of usage. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm totally wrong, but that was my initial response. I was kinda like, wow, okay. And I think because of that initial response, I wanted to give it a, a shot before I just came and I badmouthed it without having used it. 
So I put it on this morning and like I said, I went to work at 5 a.m. I was up at like four to do my makeup. So I put it on. It's nice. It's not a bad formula. It matches my skin tone really well. I had to use a lot of concealer to cover up patchy areas is kind of how I felt about it. Um, and unfortunately, I felt like it bled really bad throughout the day. Like my nose pulled um, my mascara, which this is a mascara I use all the time. It's not one that normally leaks, but it did kind of leak down onto my eyes. And I will give the catalyst that at work, our air conditioning is broken and I was working in our sandwich station today. So it was probably a good like 85 degrees where I was working. And I'm sure that made my makeup melt a little bit more than it would normally. But under high stress situations, I like to see what a foundation can do and how it can produce. And honestly, it just kind of fell short for me. Okay, so the final thing I got in skincare was this Olay Total Effects 7-in-1 CC Tone Correcting Moisturizer with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Light to Medium. <sighs> That's mouthful. So, but I read everything on the cover, so I probably shouldn't have done that. But anyway, it's an Olay Total Effects CC Cream. So I'm always looking for a good cream foundation that's going to give me some sort of coverage, but also is going to help with like the sun and making me neutralized while also protecting against the sun. And it really what I look for most is something that I don't have to work really hard with. And our final thing is this very pretty... Ofra blush and I like Ofra a lot as a brand. They have really great highlighters. I think that's kind of how they got known in the beauty community. I have a couple of their eyeshadow palettes. One of them I don't like at all to be honest. Um, it was not what I was hoping it would be and the other one I love but the one that I don't like is a lot of shimmers and I feel like their shimmers for some reason on the eyes don't play well um, and then the one that I love is all mattes and I think that's probably why I like it more because it's actually not very chalky. There's not a ton of fallout but it's easier to work with. Um, so it was weird because I was expecting like their shimmers a lot more. But I got this really pretty little summertime blush. It's got like, a, it's got a little a triangle. It's a triangle with like waves under it. I think it's supposed to be a sailboat, but maybe I'm reading too much into it. Maybe it's Illuminati. Illuminati confirmed. Offer confirmed. But it's really pretty. Um, I like blushes that have different tones in them because I think when you swirl it around and you make that pretty dust of all the colors it normally turns out for whatever reason like the perfect shade that you're looking for so that's why i got this it was on sale for 14.50 it's normally a 29 dollar blush i don't think i would ever pay 29 dollars for it but i'd pay 15 dollars for it because i did but i do want to say ulta ulta who i love you know i love ulta and i spend a lot of money with ulta they were marketing like we were getting some great online only exclusive free skincare set if we bought skincare set. This is what they sent me. Ulta, come on y'all. You guys used to send, and this is what disappoints me is they used to send like sample stuff like this, like this kind of not expensive, just like a little piece of cardboard with some like serum in it. At that point, just don't market it. Like don't be like it's this exclusive free gift when it's literally two pieces of cardboard. That is the haul that I did. Like I said, it was $150 worth of products that I paid $17 for because of points and coupons and sales. So I think I actually got a really good amount of stuff. Even if I really hate some of the products, I'll be disappointed because I used 2000 points and it brought my point total down. I still have a lot, so it's not like I used all my points, but it just, I saved them really hardcore and I really strategize about what I'm gonna purchase with them. So if I don't like products that I purchase with them, it's no different than me losing money, if that makes sense. It's no different than me spending my money and being like, oh no, why did I buy this? So hopefully I like them. Hopefully I can work with all of them, but I will be keeping you guys updated on which ones I like and which ones I do not like. Um, but yeah, so if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't checked out our page before this video, please check out some of our other videos and hopefully you'll like us and then you can follow our page. So if you want to follow us, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you see every time we post videos and I can rant to you about the makeup that I spend way too much money on all the time. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and as always, stay girly but with a dark twist.